Are you doing a lot of things that are progressing you to the goals that you want? Or are you doing a whole lot of nothing? Stay tuned because I'm going to express to you why hard work does not equal success and a way that you can get a lot more done with less effort coming up. What's up, everybody? It is time for another wonderful episode of Frugal Freedom. I am your virtual mentor, Izzy, here to teach you all that I know about finance, productivity, and well-being. So if those types of things interest you, you know what you got to do. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification because I got new videos coming at you every single day. It's been instilled in modern society that the harder that you work, the more successful you become. And I'm sitting here thinking, well, if that's the case, how come people who work low income jobs seem to work hard, but they're not getting where they want or they're still struggling? I was and still am a victim of this here statement. So I went all across the globe. Okay, I didn't go all across the globe, but I've been studying ways to do more with less effort. In other words, working smarter instead of harder. And today I got something for you that I've been putting into effect for years now. And it has, and it has been the cornerstone of everything that I do. My friends, I would like to introduce to some of you and present to others Pareto's principle. For those of you that don't know, Vilfredo Pareto, I think I'm saying his name right. He was a sociologist and economist that believed that in everything that we do, the vast majority of the results equating to about 80% only come from about 20% of our efforts. This means that the majority of the time we're doing 80% of nothing that gets us far and only a handful of our actions are propelling us forward. He calls it the factor of sparsity principle, but you can call it the 80-20 rule or simply Pareto's principle. If it's confusing, let me explain how it works. I could be spending thousands of dollars on the best camera equipment or tons of hours doing super fancy edits and then spreading myself thin across all social media platforms trying to promote the channel. While this may help the channel, it's not the sole factor of what's going to grow this channel. Because think about it like this, how can I have all of this equipment? How can I spend all of this time if nobody's watching the video? Therefore, I must focus on a few things that bring people to this channel. This means more uploaded videos with better content, a better thumbnail, and for the content that's too small of a concept to be a video, that's when we can go to Instagram to express these ideas. Now notice everything that I just stated to grow this channel. It pretty much sums up my whole plan, but it doesn't feel like I'm doing a lot. But it's not just this channel I use it on. I use this principle in every aspect of my life, be it at work, in my business, in my finance, and now even at the gym. So I want you to ask these questions if you feel like you're spreading yourself too thin or if you feel like you're doing too much and you're not getting anywhere. Do I spend a lot of time trying to get things perfect? Am I completely exhausted by the time I get done with everything? Do I moan and groan when I look at my to-do list? And speaking of, do I have a list of more than 10 things? And finally, do I have a complex system of achieving goals? If you answer yes to any or even all of these questions, here's what I want you to do. I want you to dive deep and analyze your list and really ask yourself what is going to be those three to five things that if you did them right now, what would make you feel like you've accomplished the day? And then once you've figured out those three to five things, the next step is pretty much simple. Do only those three to five things. Life is very simple. We just insist on making it complex. That's my boy Confucius. Don't complex your life, and more specifically, don't complex your financial strategy. My friend, I got a 10 video series here on YouTube where I teach you simple ways that you can budget your money with little to no effort or discipline. I call it no discipline budgeting. So if you wanna learn how to budget your money easily and effectively, follow the link in the description below or just simply click on the eye that's gonna pop up at the top right in about three, two, one. There it is. Mm-hmm, you see it, go ahead and click on it. 
But that's all I have for this video, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any other topics that you would like me to cover, because I'm happy to see those. Like, really happy. Once again, guys, I've been your virtual mentor, Izzy. And until next time, peace.